All right, it is no secret that I love me some Trello, right? One of my most popular videos on this channel is just a Trello tutorial, and then all of my other Trello videos are super popular as well. So no secret that I love Trello, and you may have even found me because of one of those Trello videos. Today though, I want to show you how to work smarter inside of Trello with five keyboard shortcuts that will make your life so much easier inside of Trello that you're gonna come back and want to like, you know, hug me or virtually hug me or something like that. All right, so you guys have spoken, spoke, spake, speaked, and I have listened. And I'm gonna give you guys some more Trello tutorials because you seem to really love them. So I wanna put them out into the universe and let you guys have them because that is what I do. Now, if you wanna make sure you're here for all of those Trello tutorials and any other video marketing strategy tips I have for you on this channel, make sure you hit subscribe because you know. Also, if you are wanting to get started on Trello and you wanna steal all of my Trello boards because I have that option available for you. All you have to do is click the link below this video to grab those boards because I'm giving them to you for free. Okay, but today I'm so excited because these tips, they're more like hacks, are super easy, super easy for you to do and will cut down your time inside of Trello doing mundane tasks like switching labels and checking off checklists and all of that stuff. Now I have five keyboard shortcuts I wanna show you, but stick around until the end because I have a fun bonus hack that you don't want to miss. Let's head back here and I will show you these five Trello keyboard shortcuts that are amazing. Okay, so once you're in Trello, you can do these fun hacks. So go ahead and open up Trello and follow along with me. You don't have to have this many things in a board or whatever, but I'm just gonna show you how everything works. Okay, so I have five keyboard hacks for you. One, the first one, is that you can use the letter C to automatically archive a card. So all you have to do is hover over the card you wanna archive. So let's say I want to archive this webinar sign up card here. Just hover over it and press the letter C on the keyboard and it automatically archives it. Ah, fun, right? So the next one is the letter D to change the due date or add a due date to a card. So let's say I wanted to add a due date to this main funnel card here. Again, you just hover over it and hit the letter D and the due date picker will come up. So you'll notice that that saves a couple of steps. It saves you having to click here, change due date, do that, hit save, hit save again. Um, so all you have to do is hover over it, hit the letter D, change it and hit save. That's all. Now the next one is the letter L and it will change and toggle the labels on your card for you. So for instance, if I wanted to add a label to this card for whatever reason, all I have to do is hover over it, hit the letter L and I can change the label on my card. So you can add, you can change, you can do anything like this. If there was already a label here, we could remove it and add a new label. And again, it saves the step of having to click about four times versus the one button push. Okay, number four is the letter M. And the letter M will change the members on the card. Now I actually have a bonus hint in here for you. So let's say that this particular card here, I wanted to assign to my OBM jewels and I didn't you know, wanna go in here, hit the button, change members, hit save, hit save again. All I have to do is hover over it and click the letter M and now it'll give me a list of the board members and I can just choose who I want to assign it to and I would assign it to her. Even quicker, if you want to assign a card to yourself, all you have to do is hover over it and hit the space bar. And it automatically assigns it to you and you can hover over and hit the space bar again if you wanna remove yourself. Awesome, right? Okay, so the last one I wanna share with you as far as the keyboard hacks is the new card hack. So normally, if you want to add a card, you have to click at the bottom of your list and hit add card. Then if you want it, if you didn't want it at the bottom, you wanted it more towards the top, you'd have to drag it up. But 
what you can do is let's say in this column here, I wanted to add a card right here after this go live, but I didn't want to have to do all that. So all I have to do is hover over the go live. So hover over the card above where you want your new card to be and click or push the button in um, as in new. And a new card will appear right below the one you were hovering over. So instead of having to add it to the bottom and dragging up or trying to figure out where it goes, you can totally hover over the one that will be above it and hit the letter N and now you've created a new card right there. So those are some really fun keyboard hacks, but I told you I had a bonus hack for you and that is an Chrome extension called Next Step for Trello. All you have to do is type in next step for Trello in Google and you will find the first search result is the Chrome extension. You'll go in there and you'll either add it to Chrome or you'll see that you already have it added. Once it is added, now inside your Trello board, you will have the option for the next step. Now I'm actually going to refresh because it wasn't there before. So now you'll notice I have this new link here. Now, if I click that, it gives me several options. I can have one per card, the first checklist, one per checklist, all steps, or hidden. And then this is just what you can thank him with a beer, <laughs> the guy who created this. So what that means is if I say I want the, the first checklist in each card to show, that means if the card has a checklist and they're not completed yet, the tasks will show. If they're all completed, like this one says five of five is completed, none of them will show. And you can check them off straight from here. So you don't actually have to open the card and check it off. You can just go straight here and hit the button and it automatically checks it off and um, shortens it. If you wanted to add, you could just say one per card. So it would just have like the next thing due on that card there. You can also have one per checklist. So if there were multiple checklists on that card, then you would just have one task from each checklist, or you can have all steps. So that will show everything that needs to get done here. So for here, for instance, on this one, if I was done with the Facebook ad with a video, I just check it and I check that and it removes them straight from this view. So that's not a keyboard hack, but it's another really fun hack to make Trello easier and even more time efficient to use. Right? I know. I'm telling you, just when you think Trello gets no better, you realize that you can do stuff like this and you're like, darn, like it's even more amazing than it was before. So if you have loved this, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe because I don't want you to miss any more Trello tips or video marketing tips with me because I'm coming back at you three times a week with those. Oh, and if you are itching to know something about Trello, maybe I didn't cover it in my tutorial or in any of the other Trello videos I've done, hit me up in the comments below and let me know what else you want to know about Trello because I'm here for you. And until next time, bye y'all.